Welcome back. Joining us live in the studio tonight are members of the Lima Senior Lacrosse team and head coach Nate Garlock. Nate, thanks for joining us. Hey, no problem. Thanks for having us. So the sport is really growing in, in this area. I'm from the Northeast, play lacrosse, love lacrosse. How have you seen the sport grow in popularity in Ohio? Um, with two years ago with the OHSAA adopting it as a sport finally, you're really seeing it. Last year was kind of a smaller growth as you look throughout the state. But this year, as you're looking through the schools that are adding it, I mean, it's just, it's expanding. It seems, I mean, rapidly. Um, around here, not so much. We're the only ones in the area. We do have to travel quite a bit to go to games. Uh, closest team, we have to go to Toledo, Dayton, Cincinnati area to play. So for us, we're really hoping that the more people can come out and see us and experience what we're doing, they'll want to start kind of getting that going in, in their areas and their schools. And hopefully we'll have that really growing in, in our area pretty quickly. I've been really impressed with that. And you guys ended last year f five and nine, ended on a higher note. Um, what did you learn coaching last season? Whew, so, so much. Um, it was a learning experience for all of us. Um, you know, I, I hadn't been a lacrosse coach before. I'd been more of a lacrosse fan. Um, and it was just kind of one of those things where some, we stepped up and we're like, hey, look, we need to do this. And so we all learned together. Um, we've had a lot of help from ONU. Uh, they have a lacrosse program over there. Coach Sane has been tremendous in giving us advice and helping and with clinics. And anytime I have a question or I'm not quite understanding something or I need something explained to me, I, I can call and bug him and he always picks up the phone for me. So um, it's really just been the, the patience and, you know, the new terminology. And they, I've coached for a long time, but it's been track, not lacrosse. So it's a whole new it's a whole new thing. So, you know, the guys were learning a lot. I was learning a lot. We understood that. And, you know, we, we made sure that we were learning together, explaining a lot of things. And, you know, we took it slow and it showed you know we started off 0-4 but we went 500 the rest of the season went five and five we really took a lot of strides and we're really excited to go into this year and taking that moving forward um, what is your outlook on the season what is a goal that you want to accomplish with this team so we've set some team goals um, you know we want to be undefeated at home um, you know we've kind of found what we hope will be rivalries moving forward uh, Toledo Clay, Oregon Clay, they have adopted lacrosse as well. They're going to be in their second year. So we've kind of made them kind of a makeshift rival of ours. So we want to beat them two times. We'd love to be able to get a home playoff game and a home playoff win. And um, I think the biggest challenge that I put forward to these guys, especially when I'm talking to my seniors, is you know when we look at the schedule and we see how we match up, you know, I really think that we can win double digits this year. And you know, we're looking for 12, win 12 wins. That's our benchmark. And you've got three guys playing college ball next season. How big of a deal is that and how proud are you, are, are, are you of them? Oh, I'm extremely proud of them. And that was one of the big things um, when I got into this and when I got into coaching in general. You know, the, you know, the opportunities that these guys have now in front of them is, is tremendous. Um, lacrosse is you know, the largest growing sport collegially. There are no more scholarships available in any other sport than lacrosse. So there's a ton of opportunities for guys to move on to the next level. These three guys have worked their tails off and it's shown and now they're going to have an opportunity to get, you know, their college paid for and go and play lacrosse at the next level. And that, these are great schools, ASA Brooklyn, uh, Mount Vernon Nazarene and St. Joseph. Yeah, they are in their, you know, the high quality teams. Um, some of them are, are starting to rebuild and when they saw our guys and saw the potential that they had, they wanted to make them a core piece of, of their rebuilds. And I think that speaks highly of those guys when you can have coaches come in and say, hey, I'm rebuilding, I need people who I can lean on, who can come in and can contribute from day one, and they want you, that, that speaks a lot. It's not one of those going, hey, we just gotta fill out a back end of a roster, you're just gonna hang out, we need some practice players. Um, it, it shows a lot uh, for these guys and their abilities. And now we're gonna toss it over to Andy, who is standing by with your three stars. Thank you very much, Coach and Frank, as we welcome Alan Madlock going to ASA Brooklyn next year. Micah Rex doing double duty for us tonight. He's one of our uh, floor directors, camera operators, so he took the hat off just to be on the set here, and he is also going to Mount Vernon Nazarene, and Cole Miracle down at the end going to Mount St. Joseph's, and Cole, let's start with you, because you had a big night already tonight with the Lima Senior Deca, helping out a night to shine over at Lima First Assembly of God, the special needs prom. Tell us about your night there. What was that like? Uh, it was really amazing, uh, just giving these kids a night that they wouldn't forget, and uh, Seeing the smiles and the memories that they made, it was, it was unreal. It was something I'm never going to forget, for sure. Was that your first time to do it, or had you done it before? Yeah, this is my first time. I actually didn't know that this was a thing, but now that I, I do know, I'm going to promote it and support it in every way that I can. Very cool, very cool. Well, your football, your, your little bit of everything, but lacrosse <laughs> is what you're going to college for. Tell, take us through your decision and what you've loved about this sport. 
Um, this sport really has changed me and made me to, you know, who I am. And so when we went on visits and stuff and, and met with the coaches and everything, you could just tell that this is what I wanted to do. And, and so when I made my decision, I, I, I'm just, I couldn't be more happy about going to Mount St. Joseph and playing lacrosse at the next level. Micah, how excited are you for the second year of Lima Senior Lacrosse? You guys kind of understand, you know, what, what it's like going against some other teams and probably going uh, to be a new season for you. Yeah, it was definitely a big learning process last year, but this year we got a we, we only lost one senior, yeah. so and he was it was our starting defenseman. But we're definitely got a lot of people who are going to be able to come in, step up, play a big role. And now that we all kind of have worked together before, we're able to gel and hopefully come out with a good season this year. Mount Vernon Nazarene is your choice. What made you pick there for lacrosse? Uh, they had they had both my uh, both my degrees, which was business management and then media journalism production. And uh, they were their startup program, and their coach was really, really welcoming, and it just kind of felt like home on the campus. Not only do you play lacrosse, but you also make sticks for lacrosse in wood shop at Lima Senior, right? Te tech Arts yeah. or uh, whatever it's called. How did that that start, and, and what do you like about it? Uh, really, it was just uh, I got bored one day and had free time. <laughs> I was watching some YouTube videos. That's always how great ideas begin. <laughs> yeah, and I, I know like retail are like seventy bucks, and I figured I could go to Home Depot make one for five five bucks this financial decision well, was it easy yeah it was really easy it was, hard. <laughs> it was hard to figure out the angles and stuff but once you do it it's pretty repetitive and Alan do you have one of his sticks did he make one for you no no <laughs> <laughs> would you like one or you're, you're, um, you're sticking to what you got I'm sticking to what I got <laughs> <laughs> ASA Brooklyn is where you're headed uh, what made you choose there uh, it's in New York and I just wanted to live there so have you been to New York? No. Okay. So your first time to New York will be on campus when you start school there? Yeah. And what will your major be? Do you know yet? Uh, criminal Law and Justice. Oh, wow. Okay. Very good. Excited about, for this uh, senior season? Uh, yes, I am, actually. All right. When's, when's first practice, guys? February 19th. The 19th. So we're right around the corner. Yep. Right around it. All right. Well, thanks for stopping by tonight. Good luck to the Lima Senior Spartans. We hope to broadcast. Last year, uh, we had a difficult time because the weather was very hard, oh, but we hope to broadcast yeah. some games this year. We'll see if we can do that. When we return, more sports reports. Stay with us.